What's up everyone, back here for another video at Not So Sunny Florida. So as you guys know, I finally made my move to Florida, but I just found out that the internet provider in my new place is Comcast. And as you guys know, Comcast dies all the time. I was like, forget that, let's get Verizon. So I'm paying extra to get Verizon installed into my place so for the next couple days i'm at my temporary spot in miami it looks like the world's about to crash down it just so happens that as soon as i move to florida we get all the thunderstorms and all the crazy action right so crazy stuff but excited to be in florida full time excited to save seven percent on state tax here and let's talk about trading today so if you're looking at the title of this video i made seventy one thousand dollars today trading donald trump's truth social company so let me talk about what happened let me talk about uh what's going on and what i did to be able to make all this money so i'm sure as you guys heard over the weekend there was an attempt to take the president's life right and putting all politics aside i really hope that this brings our country together i hate that there's bad things that like this that need to happen but it finally feels like our divided country is somewhat some way coming back together and that's really really important so really sad about what happened thankfully they just got his ear i know if you guys saw some of the content out there he turned his head last second and hopefully this is going to increase security all around so although it was a very 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 terrible thing it will teach all the secret service agents a lesson on how to improve their process right so what ended up happening so there's a couple things here to make note of after this attempt I think that the market has finally understood and finally decided that Donald Trump is gonna be the president, right? So what does that mean for the market and how did I use this to make money? Number one is if you remember, one of the biggest things that Trump did when he was president, by the way, this looks so gloomy and ominous. One of the biggest things that Trump did when he was president is a Trump tax cuts. So he came in and he dropped the corporate tax rate for companies. Now, why is this important and what does this matter for? So. Let's say just to make the math easy, right? A company has $100,000 in profits and they pay 25% of tax on that. That means they're left with $75,000 in profits and the market gives a multiple on those profits and that equals the stock price. Now what's gonna happen is if history repeats itself, which the market is anticipating, when Trump comes into office, he's gonna drop taxes again. And now let's say he drops it to 18%. What ends up happening is that same company that had $100,000 in, in revenue that turned to $75,000 in profits after taxes is now turning into $82,000 in profits after taxes. And with that same multiple, this value of the company should go up. And that's why the stocks are going up. In my opinion, the market has determined that after the failed attempt that the country has riled, rallied around Trump leading him to be the next president, which should lead to more tax cuts, which should lead to more profits for companies, which should lead to higher t uh, stock prices. So all the hedge funds, all the institutions, all the money managers know this and they're buying up stocks like crazy, right? So that's number one. The most important thing to understand is the market loves Trump because he is good for business. So although the market is extended and rebounding and X, Y, Z, well, if he does come in and he does drop taxes, this is only the beginning. So I think that we are entering a new bull market cycle, at least for the next four years. Whatever happens after that, I got no idea. All I know is that I think we're entering it now. So another big piece of news is Donald Trump's stock gapped up nearly 70% today, right? So if you guys didn't already know, Robinhood has a 24 hour market now. And Robinhood's 24 hour market has been very, very key in certain trading opportunities like GameStop, right? So if you guys remember when GameStop, Keith Gill, Roaring Kitty tweeted that the memes are back, Robinhood's 24 hour market on GameStop exploded. The way their 24 hour market works is if there is, if the gap is over 20%, they stop accepting orders. So what ended up happening on GameStop the first time is they stopped accepting orders. And then at 4 a.m., when the regular market opened up, the stock shot up. The same exact thing happened when he posted his position. The 24-hour the market on Robinhood went up, halted up, 
And then the next morning at 4 a.m. pre-market, the stock went up. So after seeing that twice happen on GameStop, I knew that the third time it happened on whatever stock, chances are history will repeat itself. So I don't need to know and I don't need to care which stock it is. All I need to know is if that pattern is happening, I need to be able to capitalize on it. Now, I don't have a Robinhood account to trade this 24-7 market. I hear Interactive Brokers has the ability to trade this 24-7 market. It's going to be something that I'm looking into now. But for now, the 4 a.m. market is good enough. So what ended up happening is after the attempt on the president, DJT stock went up 20% 20, 20 on Robinhood's 24-hour market and halted. So my thought process was this thing is probably going to explode higher at 4 a.m., when normal traders like me have the access to buy this stock, right? So it just so happens, it just so happens I couldn't sleep last night, right? I couldn't sleep last night, I was tossing and turning, and I was up at 3.30. So I was like, screw it. Instead of trying to get more sleep, let me try to make some money, right? So I woke up, stayed up, and at 4 a.m., exactly on the dot, right? Exactly on the dot, I bought as much DJT as I possibly can, right? The spread was crazy, everything was wild, but I was like, you know what? This happened twice on GameStop where the Robinhood market halted at the 20%, 24-hour market, and it kept going higher at 4 a.m. So my thought process was, I'm just gonna repeat that same exact thing that's happened multiple, multiple times, right? So I bought as much size as I could, around 45, 46. And if you notice, pull up a daily chart on DJT, you can see that there is resistance at 55 and 56. I ended up selling my entire position around 54 for a $30,000 win. So I started off the morning at 416, 420 AM, up $30,000. $30, and let me tell you something, that felt really good, right? That felt really good. My girl was in bed, she's like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> what the hell are you doing awake at this time, right? Cause she's like, it's three, it's 4 AM. What are you doing awake? I said, listen, I'm making money, go back to sleep. So that was number one. Now, number two is when the stock tried to bounce and fail, there was a big seller that came into the stock. I think it was around 6 a.m., 5 or 6 a.m. that ended up selling off the stock from 51, I mean, from 52 down to 50. So I ended up shorting, right? So I took both sides of the trade. I took the long side of the trade right when pre-market opened, and then I took the short side of the trade when the seller came up. And now what I'm gonna do guys is in the description of this video, I'm gonna include my profits, and I'm gonna include my charts so you can follow along, right? So I ended up shorting when the big seller showed up and it went as low as like 46 and 47. And I didn't really end up taking my profits because I was like, this looks really weak. It looks like it's gonna come lower. And what ended up happening around 6.45 a.m., the stock bounced and I was like, ah, this stupid stock bounced all the way from like 46 to 50. I was like, let me try to short it a little bit more at 50. And at 7 a.m., uh, when most of the brokers open up, if the stock doesn't just go straight down at 7 a.m., I'm just gonna move on and be done with it. At 7 a.m., it went from $50 down to $49, down to $48. I took the money and I ran away, right? And that locked in probably about another, I don't know, 25,000. So at this point, I'm up $55,000 pre-market. And then my thought process, my game plan is if this stock bounces towards $50 in the morning, I'm going to short more and hopefully for the love of God, it should go under 40. Long story short, stock market opened up around 46. I hit the bid at 45 when it looked weak and I got out in the 40s, netting a total of $35,000 on the short. So at this point, now I'm up about 65,000. Then there was another stock moving, AIMX. Shorted that, made 5,000 and walked away and that's my $70,000 day. So I'm gonna include all the charts down below. I'm gonna include everything, but this was an opportunity where if you saw what GameStop did a few months ago, twice on the 24 hour market, you'd be able to capitalize on what DJT did now on this 24 market. I don't have access to trade the 24 hour market, but I do have access to trade at 4 a.m. And that's exactly what I did. So as each of these plays happen, and more people find out about this, the edge will not be there as much. So I'm very happy I capitalized on it. I would have loved for this thing to go higher, but the reality is the stock has a large float. The stock has dilution. If this was more of a low flow company or if it was more of a meme stock, I guarantee it would have went higher, but can't really complain when I'm making $70,000 in one day, right? So I'm gonna include all the charts. I'm gonna include everything down below so you guys can see. Additionally, I don't know if you saw it, but 
Elon Musk has now officially endorsed Donald Trump as president, and Tesla stock is up another 6% today. Why is Tesla stock up if he's endorsing Donald Trump? Well, to keep it simple, right, to keep it simple, Elon endorsing Tesla, I mean, Elon endorsing Trump is positive for Tesla because now if Trump wins the presidency, I'm sure he's gonna help Elon Musk and help Tesla, right? So Tesla's up too. And to be honest, the robo taxi being delayed is not really much news. It's only delayed two months. And I think a lot of people got caught short. In my opinion, I'm a long-term holder. I still think it's gonna go to 300, maybe 400 this year, and we'll see what happens. But aside from that, this was a great opportunity on DJT. Uh, if you did not capitalize on it, learn for the next time. I'm gonna put all the links, all the descriptions in the video. And from there, you can see everything. Additionally, guys, you guys are loving these types of videos, right? And again, this is not my normal setup. This is not where I'm gonna be full-time. It's starting to pour outside, God damn it. So let me know what you guys think about these videos. Please leave a like, please leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and let me know what type of content you wanna see from me. I'm gonna attach some live trading videos so you guys can watch that too. Aside from that, have a great day. It's about to storm in Miami.